I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the sound of cicadas because it's summer and it's hot. All right, so here we are again, and I am in the process of doing the disc brake conversion on my 1975 Ford Bronco. Now, I've taken everything apart, and when I did, I pulled my axles out of the axle tubes, and there was a ton of mud all over them. So, what I'm going to do in this video is kind of a step-by-step -step on, real quickly, how I cleaned out the axles, how I did it. Might not be the best way, but this is how I did it. Also, what I'm going to cover is how to remove the carrier out of the differential. At first, when I started doing this, I thought, yeah, I can totally take my carrier out without taking off my, or taking out my tie rod. But as I got into it, I quickly realized the error in my ways. So like the first half of this video, you'll notice this big old tie rod in the middle of all my shots because I thought that I could get it out with it still in there. So first step, remove the tie rod. Pretty easy, just loosen up one end, move it out of the way, or take the whole thing out. Just remember how it goes back together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen all the bolts on the differential cover. Now whether you loosen them or you take them out, what you want to do is you don't want to just pop that cover off because it's about half full um, of oil. So what you want to do is you want to pop it so that the bottom of it loosens up so the oil can drain out of the bottom. <laughs> hey look, there's a rusty tie rod in there because I didn't take it out first. Once you get the differential cover off, you'll notice that there are two caps that are holding the carrier in there. So what you want to do is you can go ahead and remove those bolts that hold those caps in there, but here's the thing. You want to make sure that you either mark the caps with where they're at or remember uh, exactly how they go back in uh, because you can't put them upside down, you can't put them in, flip them, or anything like that. They have to go in exactly how they came out. So next, your carrier pretty much just slides out if you're the Hulk. This thing like is in there so tight and so snug, like everyone's like, oh yeah, it can just slide out. Who's, who's pulling this out with their bare hands? Who is the person who is sliding a carrier out of the differential. What I did was I put a two by four right next to the carrier and then I got a crowbar and I actually pried on one of the bolts on the carrier to get one side out and then I put a toe strap around the other side and pulled it out after a lot of back and forth. It actually did come out. I actually had a uh, box under uh, my differential with filled up with blankets um, and so the carrier just kind of rolled out and fell into that box. So once you get the carrier out, um, then I actually uh, cleaned out my axle tubes. I'm not sure the proper way to do this, um, but this is the way that I did it. If you think about the axle tube, all the dirt and mud and gunk is at the bottom. So I took a broomstick and just kind of knocked it all around, scraped all in there. Uh, and then stuck a hose in there and just sprayed some water, caught it with a big five gallon bucket and just sprayed some water through there to get a lot of the chunks out. And then I took a can of brake cleaner and just basically sprayed the whole can in there, followed by just a rag a couple times through, um, pushing it through with a stick. And uh, when I put my hand in there and felt around, it actually felt pretty clean. I probably wouldn't eat off of it, but pretty clean nonetheless. So the next thing that I would do, because um, you got the axles out, check your U-joints and see if they need to be replaced. Um, my U-joints were pretty rough, and so I went ahead and replaced them. But I don't have a press, so I just took my axles, bought some U-joints, took them to a, a shop, an alignment shop, and had them do it there. I totally cheated on that part. I didn't do it myself because I'm not a real man and I don't have a press in my garage. So at this point, you got your carrier out, cleaned out your axle tubes, you replaced your U-joints. Now, just put everything back together. Clean out your differential one last time. 
make sure there's no rust in there if you sprayed water, if you sprayed a hose in there. Um, make sure there is no water in there. Make sure there's no debris from the axle tubes in there. Um, make sure it is good and clean. Uh, and then put your carrier back in there. So what I did was I put my carrier back on my differential, pushed it as far as I could by hand, took a rubber mallet, um, banged it back a little bit further, and then took a two by four and just a hammer and, uh, and just knocked it back. Just make sure that the hammer doesn't slip and you don't chip a tooth, not one of these teeth, and really make sure that you do not damage those bearings because you don't want to mess up those bearings uh, that are on the carrier. And then you just want to put the bearing caps on. Again, make sure that they are exactly how you took them off. I had video footage to prove that I was putting them on the right way. Um, but yeah, put those on, tighten those bolts down to like 70 to 90 foot pounds pressure, and then go ahead and put your differential cover back on. I made sure that I got a good clean gasket back on there. Tighten that down, I think it's like 30 or 40 foot pounds. Then put a good differential oil in there. Um, I put in uh, three and a half pints of 75W90. That seemed to be the most recommended differential oil um, to put in there. And then make sure to get your tie rod, which you did take off in the first step, um, put that all back together. Now the next video that I'm gonna do is the last and final part, and that is where I piece together um, my disc brake conversion set. I didn't buy a kit. I found all the pieces and parts, uh, put it all together, and so check out the next video, foot, pounds, pounds of foot or whatever that saying is that I can never get right. 30 or 40, whatever it is, if you drop it on your foot, those pounds are gonna hurt.